Well, uh, you did uh, Take Me With You, which you mentioned. Yes. Which actually ended up 25 on the Billboard charts. Yes. Was that your highest uh, charting song or was Sex Shooter higher than that? Oh, gosh. I think maybe Take Me With You was higher. Yeah. I'm not really sure of the numbers anymore. Yeah. Having Prince on it doesn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you know, I think a lot of people didn't realize is that, you know, everyone always looks at Michael Jackson as sort of the king of that era, but mm -hmm. the Purple Rain soundtrack was like kind of neck and neck with Thriller yes. numbers right around that time. And the two of them, from what I understand, had a little bit of a rivalry. Yes. Did you know about that at all? Yes. Tell me about I, it. I really think the rivalry was created by the public. Mm. Uh, I know for a fact that Prince really liked Michael. Uh, he had great respect for him. There was one time he came over to my apartment and brought Thriller the D, uh, this the uh, video VHS. Anyhow, we sat down and we crossed our legs and we sat in front of the TV set and we watched Michael. And Prince was like, "Look at my man, my man!" And that's mm -hmm. he kept saying that. So I would look over at him. He really, really admired him. Yeah, I mean the two of the two of them in terms of just raw talent. Oh gosh, could you imagine if they had ever? performed together or did a song. I know, like, right? <laughs> well, I remember there was this uh, video that circulated where the two of them were kind of, the, they performed at the same time. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I think yes. like Prince came out on like Hulk Hogan's back or right. something like that. And, and it was like, they were kind of competing against each other. Right. But it was like, yeah, like you can't even tell who really won because the two of them were just, <laughs> you know, superstars. Powerful. Oh yeah. Powerful. Well, uh, Prince and Rick James also had a bit of a thing. Yes, that I was aware of. Okay. Uh, I didn't know until one night I was at a club in LA called Carlos and Charlie's upstairs El Privado. And Rick was there and he offered me to be in a girl group, to be the lead singer in a girl oh, group. I didn't know that. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. And I said, well, I'm going to be in a group with Prince. You know, the you know Vanity Six is now Apollonia Six. He goes, meh. He goes, I've got the hits. <laughs> and he just went on and on that Prince didn't have the songs. He didn't know how to write for women. He just was, you know, and I listened. Uh, and, you know, I mean, when you really think about where the Mary Jane girls, I mean, they had hits. Yeah. Yeah. They, they so had hits. Was he asking to join the Mary Jane girls? Yes. That's ah. what it was. So I went back and told Prince and he turned like red. Really? And what did he say? Well, he didn't say anything. It was just like, you know, <laughs> and when he made that face, you were like, ooh, okay. Okay. You just walk, walk out of the room backwards. Well, 1985, you actually left the camp yes. uh, to pursue television. Yes. Like you were doing uh, Falcon, Falcon Crest. Falcon Crest. Yes. Exactly. Yes. With uh, Lorenzo Lamas. Yes. Okay. Was there like a, a formal, hey, I'm leaving, or... Was were you guys not really working together during that time? It was a formal, you know. Once we had that meeting, and you know, Prince was giving me these conditions of what I had to do and not do. I just thanked him very much for everything, and we still kept in touch. I went back to Paisley Park. I think it was like 1980. I hosted the uh, Minneapolis Music Awards, later 80s, and he invited me to Paisley Park. It was barely up. He still had you know, concrete on the floors. Mm. So we always maintained a great friendship, always. We had our disagreements, as all families have, mm -hmm. but we always had a great friendship. 